Hello, my lovelies. So this message is for anyone who resonates with this message. So as you guys know, I am a life coach. I'm a professionally credentialed life coach. So I'm not just one of those people who call myself a life coach. This is what I do for a living. Been doing it for like 20 years. So what I've learned in my wonderful profession is that people come to me. And again, it doesn't matter what that person does. They could be a celebrity. I've, I've coached celebrities. I've coached politicians. I've coached leaders. I've coached pastors and clergy. I've coached individual contributors. I've coached everyday folk, right? D different people, different people. Coach teams, different people, different situations. And what I've learned in my experience People will come to me for their agenda of, I want to learn how to, I want a tool, a technique, a method, a strategy, a plan, right? Those are the common words that people use. I don't know how. I never learned how to be a leader. I always had shitty leaders. I never learned how to set boundaries. All I saw was my parent being a people pleaser. Okay. So I don't know how I haven't learned the tools. And what I always tell them is you absolutely have the tools. You absolutely already have the strategy It's there. What you don't have is the habit. There's a big difference. We all have tools within us. We already know what to do and what not to do. You, you learn it. You, you know how you know? Because you're a human being and you watch television and you read books and you watch people and you are part of a community or you have a culture or you had a guardian. You learned. You already learned what to do and what not to do. The problem is your behavior was reinforced. What you learned, whether it's good, bad, healthy, not healthy, you've already learned it. So when you come and find that you're stuck in your life for whatever reason it is, you're stuck because you have not developed the habit for the most appropriate or the most healthy behavior to help you navigate a situation. So if you find that you're trying something and you fail, then that reinforces that you think you don't have the tools and you don't know how habit. Whatever you're doing, good or bad, it's a habit already. It's learned behavior. So if you want to break the cycle, you have to relearn the behavior. You have to create a new behavior. You have to create a new habit. So I'm going to use people pleasing because that's kind of common. People pleasing is a common thing. A lot of people don't honor their boundaries. If you learned how to People please. That means you don't say no. Everything somebody comes to you, you say yes. Because you have learned somewhere in your life that pleasing other people make you a good person. Make you kind. Make people like you. Make other people happy. And then that makes you happy. But what happens when you say no to somebody? They get upset with you. They don't think you're a nice person. They don't think you're a good person. And now you feel crappy. So you have associated pleasing other people with how you see yourself and your value, how you define good or bad within yourself. I know, I know. So what is the tool, the tip, the trick, the method, the approach? Here you go. You already know it. You learned what not to do in your experience. So you have to leverage, you have to not be attached emotionally to what you've learned and step back and go, okay, one, I know in order for me not to feel so crappy, I got to start saying no or negotiate your no. I talk a lot about negotiate your no in my coaching sessions. I could easily help you negotiate your no. Very wonderful way of dealing with not really saying no. So talk about that later. Anywho, you negotiate your no or you say no. And the second part is no matter how somebody else responds, because remember, you taught them how to respond to you. You taught them if so-and-so says no, I'm going to just get mad. And then they're going to change their mind and they're going to say yes. Learn behavior. 
So now you're teaching them, sorry, I'm, I'm not going to say yes today. And or I'm going to negotiate my no with you. And then I'm going to honor it. No matter how you feel about it, you're either going to get over it or you're not. And then you have to go, is that okay or not? Can I accept that this person may walk out of my life or they may get upset with me or they're going to be upset for a little while, but then they'll come back and everything will be okay. We'll talk it out, whatever. But you have to honor what you said and know that just because you said no does not make you a bad person. You create that habit. And by creating that habit, you reinforce that you're still a good person, even though you said no. Right. The beauty of coaching is that's where I come in, because during my sessions, uh, what will happen is I'm going to reinforce all the good that you are. I'm going to help you stay strong in saying no and get through that uncomfortable process of people being pissed off at you because you said no, because they're used to you saying yes. And you taught them that you're a people pleaser and you taught them that if you say no, they get mad, you'll renege. Right. You already got the tool. You already got the tool. You observed it. You know what not to do. You know to do the opposite behavior. You know to reinforce that behavior. And you know that you have someone in your life, a good friend, a wonderful coach like me, that will reinforce you're wonderful, even though you said no. And then you've created a habit. And then it doesn't sting as much and it doesn't hurt as much. You feel better about yourself. And then you stop people pleasing. But you already had the answer. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ooh. So there you go. And this is why I love coaching. And so I hope this helped you. And so you already have the answer. You're not broken. You know what to do. You're just afraid to do it because you're afraid that it makes a different perception about you. You're worried about what people are going to think because of you doing the opposite but they'll be okay and if they're not <laughs> you'll still be okay <laughs> all right you guys go out there and create awesome sauce for yourself and others and i really do hope this helped you please remember you got the answer just look at what you've learned all right